Okay. Not even when I lie, I had to get a drink. <laughs> I had to get a drink because, oh Jesus. That scared the f that. Ah. Oh. oh God. I think I swore a bit too much when it happened. YouTube's gonna get all over me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to start replacing swear words with other words. I'm gonna have to start using like the titles of novels instead of swear words. Were you here when we had that horrible mess the other day? I don't think so. Well, one of them, uh, what are they call them ground crawlers. Rats? That's it, rats. One of them rats got into the pipes. Whoop! Got sucked right into the engine. Whoa. That doesn't sound good. Light. What a bloody mess. Literally. Guts, bones, hair, blood everywhere had to shut things down. And it was us who had to clean it. Engineers wouldn't touch it, said their hands are too valuable. I guess ours aren't. It's a soldier's lot, isn't it? We do the grunt work. That's how it goes. Well, I guess they think cleaning out rat guts is more important than us keeping watch and protecting them engineers in there. Eh, uh, guess so. Thank you for giving me the solution to that problem. Now where would I find a rat? Or anything small, really. I keep coming to this area thinking that there's going to be something because of how important it was in the first game. This oh, is a it happened. Landmark of some sort. Oh, it happened Shepard again. The name if I just tilt my head. An ambassador of the Venar, if I just tilt said. my head slightly in the wrong direction. Loud music. Oh. Oh, God. If that keeps happening, I'm going to have to, like, change seating position or something. Like, I'm going to have to move the room around. Stacks of hay to represent the harvest festival. The reaping. Where do I get rats from? I'm going to be constantly on edge now because I expect it. Goat eats leaves. Goat falls asleep. Interesting. Wait. I remember someone talking about this a while back. The mole, it was. was it? There's air flowing from right to left. Like a tempest in a tube. Hey dog, come here. <laughs> if that that's a cat. Even better. Um hmm. Hey Bip. Got a job for you. Anything? Nope. Um. Oh, hey, Bit. Kin. So we meet again, Azadi. Pay your blade for battle. Goddess, it's late, boy. You should be in bed. So should you. What you doing now? Literally. Rats. Yes. The boy appears genuinely interested. I've been told this is rare in children. Perhaps it I is shouldn't actually. discourage him. Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. Are you that hungry? Rats taste like sewage. Trust me, you're better off eating table scraps. Uh, I'm not eating the rat. I need it for... It's work-related. It is. Okay. Well, don't let me keep you from your rats. Are you just going to sit there? It's not every night I get a chance to watch you catch a rat. Fair point. He's right. It's a leftover cheese and meats plate. I've dined here. The food's good. I would never have left any bits uneaten.
They won't come close as long as I'm standing here. You're not very good at catching rats, no. are you? No, I'm not, believe it or not. Oh, so close! Well, mm, listen, not listen really. here, Bib. Do you want to help? I thought being a rebel was supposed to be more exciting than this. I mean, rats? Really? Do you want to help? You're taking way too long. Good. I'm getting bored. Fucking. This is more fun. Just shut up. Ah, yams. A few weeks ago, I'd never tasted yams. Now I can't get enough. I'm a budding yam aficionado. How can you not want yams? You vermin are truly beyond all hope of redemption. You're not very good at I catching swear rats, to God are you? They won't come close as long as I'm standing here. Fucking. So I, I swear to well, God, Bip. Enough of your shit. What if I do it from over here? I. This is more fun than throwing pebbles at Azadi guards. Okay, Bip. They're too quick. You're bit, not very good at bit, that listen night. here. I will ship you off back to the re education camp where your parents are. Shut up. It's a delicate work. They won't come close as long as I'm standing here. I... Oh, so close. How do I do this bullshit? <sighs> if I stand here... Ground crawlers. Filthy rodents. They won't come close as long as I'm standing here. This is more fun than throwing pebbles at Azadi guards. They won't come close as long as I'm standing here. There is no actual way to do this. I'm sure the Magicals would appreciate all your hard work. He never listens. He's risking his life being out in the open like this. When are you going to do any fighting? But what can I do? I was the same at his age. Why don't you put the? They won't come close as long as I'm. Why don't you put here. down the cheese? You're not allowed to do anything there. Oh, so close! Do I need something else? It's surprisingly quiet out. Usually these tables are busy until late at night. Granted, it is chilly and damp. Everyone's probably inside, carousing. There's food left on the table. Wait. Oh. And then a rat will go through the pipe to get the cheese. Then I nab you. You got it. I really didn't think you would. I'm impressed. Well, that was fun. What's next? Next, you go home and stop distracting me, or I'll tell the other street urchins you have fleas. I have no home. You know that. I sleep in the cellar of the rooster and kitten. Good. It's the safest place around. So go back to your cellar and keep your head down. If I see you again tonight. Fleas, got it. I'm sleepy anyways. That's why I'm going back. 
Not because you're telling me. That is such a kid argument. And don't throw pebbles at Azadi soldiers. That is such a kid argument. I'm doing it because I want to, not because you told me to. Oh, that was... That was a nuisance. I want to point out, I, I've just now killed a rat. I've just ended a life brutally. For my own gain. What was that sound? It was a squishy sound, sort of like... You've got to be kidding me. Not again. Shut a damn ground crawlers. I guess it's on a bloody engineer in there's not gonna do it. So yeah, it's all. If it keeps happening, I swear to God. Light. Well, let's get to it. No time like the present. There we go. I just brutally ended a life for my own personal gain. Well done, Keon. Stand up, citizen. Well, that metal ball was for anyway. That that is that's an interesting conundrum. Gonna have to call Martin's Mysteries up on this. Anyone remember that Martin's Mysteries or Martin Mystery? I can't. There may have been an S at the end of one of those words. I'm not sure. I think it was just Martin Mystery. What the fucking fuck? Ah. I just said I need to stop the swearing. More metal tubes leading down to these odd tables. Someone's down there. He's one of the people who work here. I've noticed others like him entering and exiting. They're odd looking. The numbers are flickering. It looks like sorcery. But I'm sure this is science. I don't know what these are, but they put me in mind of a lady's van. I wonder what'll happen when I push one of these knobs. Oh. That's ominous. Oh. That's ominous. More of those odd metal orbs. They're doing something to them here. Altering them. I wonder what'll happen when I push one of these knobs. Oh. That's ominous. More of the metal machines that have been put up all over town. But these look different. Bigger. Shinier. More modern. He has the posture and dress of an academic, but he doesn't look like any scholar I've seen. I recognize instruments such as these from cloud ships, gauges and meters for reading things like pressure, height, and humidity. Why would they need that here, on the ground? There's mathematics on that board. Weather? This oh. is interesting. Oh. Um. You're not supposed to be here. This place is for engineers only. Please leave or I'll be forced to call the guards. I have a very loud voice when I'm scared. One sound and you'll be standing on the slopes of the first mountain, yelling at clouds. Goddess. Oh, no problem. I'll be quiet as a... Uh, you're from Azadir. I've seen your profile in embroideries. I never forget a nose. You're the Apostle. Apostle Elvani. You're famous. Maybe once. Now I'm just Kian. Your turn. Uh, my, my turn? What? Your name. Who are you? Ferdows. I'm Ferdows. Lead engineer. I don't know what that means. What do you do? Don't you know? I, I thought you would have known. You know, from back when you were... I'm in charge of the team that encodes the spheres that make the engine tick. What engine? 
the engine that... <laughs> you know, the engine. There's only one engine. The one that encompasses the entire city. It's, it's what all the pipes are connected to. Didn't they tell you anything when you were... Y you know, before you were a traitor? Assume that I know nothing. What is this engine for? The engine calculates. That's why they call it the calculating engine. <laughs> Big numbers. Complex equations. I... we... Uh, my team? We give the engine instructions about how and what to calculate. So a computer. This is called coding. I, I understood none of that. Y you can't be here. You're a fugitive and... and um... This is a restricted zone. That's like two things that mean you shouldn't be here, and I could probably think of more if you need me to. I have a sword, and I'm bigger than you. I like that. Those are two things that count in your favor, granted. So what does this calculating engine do? What's its purpose? I'm, I'm really not supposed to. Right. Bigger and sword. As I said, it calculates. I mean, it does more than that, but that's what it was built to do. It's core functionality. It adds, subtracts, multiplies numbers. Big numbers. And it does things with those numbers. Like, um, like... Have you ever watched the stars in the sky at night? I'm not just a man with a sword. Of course. And you've seen how those stars move across the sky. Using a calculating engine, we can actually track those stars and predict where they're going to be in a year from now, or a century, or where they were a century ago. Why are you tracking stars? Well, we're not. I mean, it's, it's just an example. We're not actually tracking stars. I mean, sure, we could if we wanted to, but... We're tracking dreams. Tracking dreams? Dreams, dreams are very complex. Which is why we need a big engine with lots of ticking parts to make complex calculations and predictions. Right. So, the part about not just being a man with a sword... Assume that's all I am and start over. Yes, fine. Um... Those pipes crisscrossing the city, they're sort of like, um... Like speaking tubes. Connecting a hundred sage masters, each with his or her own field of specialty. So, it's like a university? Well, I guess. Yes. Yes, this is a good comparison. A whole city filled with clever brains. The spheres pass messages between the different masters, and between them and us. We write messages, and we interpret messages. We tell the individual brains what to think about, and then they do the thinking, and report back to us. Now this allows us to write ever more complex messages until, finally, we have the code we need. The ultimate message. That one we send to the tower. Why? Because... because that's where the biggest brain of them all is located. This is the hub of the Pike Network. The engine's core, its heart, the nucleus of the meta... Well, y you understand. The fact is... This is the most advanced and scientific task anyone's ever taken on, and we're doing it. You should be proud. Why are you doing it? Well, I... I... I don't quite know. Because we can? Because no one else can? Because the Prophet told us to, and gave us the tools to do it. So, you don't know what it's for? I write the instructions. I'm the, um, I'm the man in the middle. Someone tells me what they need, and I tell the engine how to compute the answer. This is my job. Who knows what the engine is for? The Six, probably. The Prophet, certainly. Emissary Saya, I would imagine. This is above my pay grade. Above your... I was hired to write instructions for the engine and compute the spheres, not to ask questions. And... and not to answer yours either, Mir. You really should go before someone comes. We'll both be in terrible trouble. They usually check on me all the time. And I wonder why they haven't. I still don't understand. Why build all of this here in Mercuria? 
Why not in Sadir? Because of the tower and what's below it. Vast eddies of, um, meta-energies. You mean the, the dream meta tempest thing? Do you mean magic? <laughs> magic? Magic? Of course not magic. This engine is, is, is the opposite of magic. It's the culmination of everything Azadir has strived for these last hundred years. An end to chaos and uncertainty. An end to superstition and irrationality. An end to magic. When the engine's fully operative and the programming complete, we won't need sorcerers or witchcraft anymore. We'll be able to do anything we want with science. Reshape reality, rewrite the laws of the cosmos, remove death and disease, poverty and warfare. The world will be run by scientists for the betterment of humanity. What do dreams have to do with it? The engine feeds on the... on, on the building blocks of reality. Um, ideas, stories, dreams. Magic is highly detrimental to the system. See, sorcery causes chaos, injects uncertainties and, and, and fallacies into our calculations. So... Is that why magicals are, are being relocated? <sighs> we can't have them around while the engine's calculating. But as soon as we're done... You we believe can... they're being relocated? Oh, yes. <sighs> yeah, yes, of course. I mean, it's what they told us. Why would they lie? It it's simple. The engine isn't compatible with magic. And we don't want anyone getting hurt. There's no room for sorcery in Mercuria. The magicals are better off in their new homelands. They're being sent to prison camps. Re-education camps. Uh, this is true, yes, but only temporarily. Th this is their first stop. Afterwards, they're given passage to their new homelands, where they can- Do you really believe that? What would the Magicals be re-educated to do? Forget that they're Magicals? No, Fadaus. That's not the truth. They're imprisoned. Killed. They're not given a new home. But they told us. They said they were... They, they promised they'd be safe and happy and... Oh, light protect them. So this is why we're sending all the Magicals away from Mercuria. Because of the engine. I... Yes. Yes. That's why. I, I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> there are children. There are. They lied to us. Do you need to remove all Magicals before starting up this calculating engine? It's already running. I'm... I'm not... As long as the thermaturgical interference is below the acceptable threshold for... What? Pretend that I'm a very small and possibly very stupid child. Oh. No. No, they don't, they don't need to get rid of all of the Magicals. Just enough not to disrupt our calculations. We'll be done instructing the network in a couple of days. After that, they can pull the lever whenever they want. That's the last component of the engine. The tower. The one that will start feeding on and molding the dreams. Changing the world for the... For the better. Yeah. I, um... I believe the official ceremony is a few days from now. The emissary will be there, together with the first, and the prophet, and... And... And please don't kill me. I'm not going to kill you. But what you're doing here is not the will of the goddess, Fadaus. Something is going on. Someone's... Kian. I had a feeling it was you. Hey, buddy. Mia? Goddess, what are you doing here, Hami? Where are your men? Right outside. They can be here in seconds. You, engineer. What's your name? I threatened him. He played no part in this. For Dows. I'm... For Dows. You lied. I beg your pardon? You promised they'd be safe. I've no idea what you're talking about. Go, for Dows. This is not about you. Just remember what I told you. You're not doing the work of the goddess here. I should have realized the taking of Old Town was too easy. It was a distraction. Designed to take my mind off the investigation. Commander Vamon and the Emissary have been lying to me about your death. Why is that? Because they assholes! Because I'm a danger to them. And it's not the only thing they've lied to you about. 
This engine. You betrayed us. You joined the enemy. To stop Sire and Vermont, not to fight our people, not to fight you. Sister Sire is the emissary. Commander Vamon is your superior officer. They are your people. They are traitors, Mir. They have betrayed our nation, our faith, and- You should have come to me first, Apostle. You should have come to me. Instead, you've shamed me. You've shamed Mother Utana, the Six, the Goddess, your nation. When I received word someone had been spotted entering this house, I had a feeling it was you. I entered alone for two reasons. One, as a courtesy to the mother, it would break her heart. What? Of all the times! Of all the times! This is like, I have been quiet for a lot of this because this has been an info dump. Why minimize You're now? proof that Vamon has lied to me. I cannot reveal my hand to Vamon, but I also cannot let you go. You'll surrender to me now, without struggle, and you'll be brought to Sadir tonight, in secret. The courts will decide your fate. For the time being, while I sort out this mess, you'll be locked away under a false name. No one will know you're alive. When I'm ready to confront the Commander and the Emissary with their lies, I will reveal the truth about your survival, and you will cooperate every step of the way. Ask Sire and Vermon about the camps. And what they're doing to- You lied. You lied to us. You told us they would not be harmed. You told us they'd be safe. There were children. Get off me, you idiot. Go. Go, Keon. Make them pay for this. Stop that. Get off me. I'll have you beheaded for this. Shadow, damn you, man. Leave this place, now. Hey, baby. That don't seem good. That don't seem good at all. That that seems very very ungood. Bip got bipped. See, that was that was a lot of information that was just thrown at me there. Yes? Mother. It's the General. He asks to speak with you. Send him in, child. Hami. Is anything the matter? It's Kian. He's alive. Oh! Goddess. Goddess, be praised. How do you know this? He broke into the engine room down on City Green. Light. What was he doing there? Speaking with one of the engineers, Fadaos, a young man from the southern provinces. Kian said... Oh, well, it's of no consequence. He's a traitor. He's joined the resistance. But... It is as I suspected. We have been lied to by Vamon and the Emissary. For what reason? That I don't know. Yet. And until we do, we cannot confront the Mother. I agree. We don't know how firm their grip is on the tower. If they know that we know... What about Kian? Was he... Uh... How did he look to you? He looked strong. Different, but strong. His head you was must tilted. have his reasons for doing what he's doing, Hami. Kian would never betray Azadir, or his faith. Perhaps, but that's what he's doing. I gave him the honorable choice to turn himself in and face righteous judgment. But he fled like a coward when the engineer attacked me. Attacked? I don't blame the man. Kian poisoned his mind with baseless lies. My men detained him, and I placed him somewhere safe, somewhere he can't tell anyone what he saw and heard. Out of Vamon's reach. We need to keep this between us, or we run the risk of alerting the commander and emissary Saya. Much as I'd like to hunt down Kian myself and put him to the sword, we must be patient. Let's trust the goddess, Hami, to illuminate our path and bring us to the truth. I certainly hope she will. I'm gonna go back to Zoe now, aren't I? Okay, good. 
Because I'd be slightly disappointed if I went back to Zoe right now. Kian, thank the balance you're back. Bip's been- They've taken him. Taken, yeah. Light. Are you sure it's Bip? I knew this would happen. We have no time to spare. We must get to him before- The cloud ship just unmoored and is already heading for Guillen. It's too late. Then we must follow. And abandon your mission here? For one child's life? Is it because he's a magical that he's not worth the trouble? You're such an angry, angry man. Do you really want Kian to leave Mercuria and risk his life to save one boy? I thought so. This is what happens when we let Azadi criminals live. Ugh, stop it. That's not what happened and you know it. They're sending all the magicals away. I know why. And I know what the types are for. What? Really? Are you serious? I'll explain later. Right now, we need to rescue the boy. Well, you're not going after him. That's not your decision to make, Anna. Can we really afford to lose more people? We've lost so many already. And Ani has her hands full with those who've been injured. Soon, there won't be enough of us left to fight. I need to think about this. I can't just abandon the boy, but... We can't stay here. The Azadi are hunting me. The General knows I'm alive. Honey? How did that happen? Did you approach him? Are you trying to curry favors with your former masters? I will curry fucking favors. end you! How would I even... I'm not trying to curry any favors with... Stop it, both of you! You're really annoying! And loud! Let's get out of here before all of it gets in trouble for harboring a fugitive. Shepard will want to have a say in the discussion. This isn't over, Kian. Oh, hush. I fucking hate Liko. He's such an asshole. Like, he has a stick so far up his ass, it's poking out of his fucking eye. 